Well, we have a special product for you today. I'm not quite sure what to call it. So for now, let's just go with the Estellenkern Acro CA1000 DAC Amp DAP Desktop Music Player with Streaming and Analog I.O. Rolls right off the tongue. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more reviews and videos on all the latest audiophile gear right here at Moon Audio. The Acro is an odd duck of a device. It's certainly something you probably haven't seen before. But like I always say, Estelle and Kern never stops innovating. They like to be a brand of firsts. The first three DAC portable music player, the first DAP with removable DAC cards, and now the first device with um, all this. I mean, you can kind of tell it's from Estelle and Kern. It has most of the telltale signs, the screen, the oversized volume knob, sharp angles, and a futuristic design. But this isn't your typical Estelle and Kern DAP. It does have the complete functionality of one, but there's much, much more. Let's take a look at the overall design. If you remember the Con Cube, then you know Estelle and Kern isn't a stranger to chunky music players. The Acro CA1000 is made from the same high-grade aluminum that their other DAPs are constructed with. On the front of the device, you'll find four individual headphone jacks, a quarter inch and a 3.5 millimeter for the unbalanced, and a 4.4 and 2.5 millimeter for the balanced ports. Above that, you'll find four small silver buttons, power on, track skip back, play pause, and the track skip forward button. The staple oversized volume knob is a little different this time, with a smooth scrolling wheel that you can adjust with the swipe of a finger. Don't forget, these are premium devices and Estelle and Kern adds some neat touches like the engraving inside the volume knob. It says Ultimate Hi-Fi Sound System. The I.O. in the back includes a stereo RCA out, stereo RCA in, coax, optical, micro SD card slot, and two USB-C ports, one for charging and the other for data and audio. When it comes to a headphone or desktop amplifier, there's not much more you need. However, the Acro CA1000 isn't just a headphone or desktop amplifier. It's a DAP too. The screen on the Acro is like the SR25 Mark II DAP, so that being said, it's not for fat fingers. But I understand the choice in the design. A larger screen would have added weight and potentially have made the device larger while using more battery. The screen can fold up for a nice desktop experience. The hinge is super impressive, resistance is great, and absolutely no movement at any angle. It's actually not as heavy as it looks. It still has some heft, but for the most part, it would be considered a fairly portable package. The other thing making this a portable device is the internal battery. Yes, you can take it with you on the go, just like a normal music player. I got close to the estimated 10 hours battery life on one charge, more than enough for a day or two of untethered music listening. I would say for a device this powerful and this size, that's a respectable duration. Estelle and Kern have varied signatures for their DAP lineup ranging from warm and musical with the usage of AKM DACs like on the SP2000 flagship, and then there's the other side of the spectrum with the SR25 Mark II and the hyper-detailed and forward CS DAC chips. Estelle and Kern even have products like the SC200, SC180, and the SP2000T that can be adjusted in signature to your listening preferences. The Acro CA1000 is equipped with four ES9068AS DACs, which provide a nice detail-oriented sound signature. Being an ESS chip, their top-of-the-line two-channel DAC, you should expect a balanced overall sound with plenty of resolution. I would consider it forward-leaning, but there's not a lot of coloration here with regard to low-end or high frequencies. Power also goes a long way when it comes to the sound quality that the CA1000 provides. Depending on your headphone power requirements, make sure that the headphones are getting enough juice provided by the Acro's gain settings. Underpowered headphones will not yield good sound quality. For my testing setup, 
I paired the Acro with the Dan Clark Stealth headphones and a Black Dragon Premium cable for Dan Clark headphones. The Acro is going to sound great for just about every music genre out there. Estelle and Kern has made detachable amplifiers for their DAP products in the past. They even have super powerful DAPs like the Con series that have beefed up amplifier sections for more powerful headphones. However, the Acro CA1000 is Estelle and Kern's first venture into a standalone headphone amplifier and digital audio player combination with a portable form factor. It's a standalone headphone amplifier in the sense that you have analog RCA coax optical I.O. giving you connectivity options apart from just a headphone. What also makes the CA1000 special is the fact that the amplifier has four gain stages, so you can pick the necessary power output and or battery duration as needed. Three of these gain levels match that of the previous most powerful Estelle product, the Con Alpha Music Player. The lowest output will give you two VRMS for unbalanced and four VRMS for balanced connections. Mid-level gain gives you four VRMS for unbalanced and eight for balanced connections. The high-level gain will provide six VRMS for unbalanced and 12 VRMS for balanced. If you left it there, it's pretty impressive power output for a portable device in general, let alone a music player or small portable headphone amp. But the Acro CA1000 takes it one step further, offering you a whopping 8 VRMS for unbalanced and 15 VRMS for balanced connections. Let's put this another way. The Hi-Fi Mansu Svar is one of the most power-hungry headphones we have here in the office. The Acro didn't even flinch while not even plugged into external power. As mentioned previously, the Acro sports four different amplifier gain outputs for various power settings. The easiest way to set the amp output is by swiping down from the home screen. There you will see various settings, the third being the amp setting with the current gain setting listed underneath. Continue to press this button to cycle through the gain settings in order from low, mid, high, to super. Keep in mind that the volume level will reset each time you change the gain setting on the amplifier. This is done as a safety precaution to prevent damage to your ears and the device. The other way to adjust the gain setting is to go to the main menu and select settings. Scroll down and click on amp there you will see the four gain settings with a green check mark next to the currently selected gain setting. Note that the amp settings only apply to the headphone output port on the front of the product. The Acro is packed with a bunch of other features like USB PD 2.0 fast charging, which allows the player to be charged up to 50% in just an hour. Full charging will only take about two and a half hours. Crossfeed is included, giving you the option to simulate a speaker-like listening experience. Bluetooth 5.0 with AppDex HD and LDAC codecs are a welcome sight, along with the Stellan Kern's BT Sync and AK FileDrop features. We have some video tutorials on BT Sync and FileDrop if you want to check those out as well. When it comes to dragon cables, a lot of the decision is going to be determined by your headphones or speakers. If you have an analytical or forward sounding pair of headphones, then the black dragon cable will be a great pairing to bring some warmth and musicality to your music. The same for the black dragon interconnects for more detail oriented speakers. The opposite for warmer headphones or speakers, silver dragon headphone cables or silver dragon interconnects will provide more detail and a tighter bass response for a more controlled sound. Of course, feel free to contact us with your personal headphones or system, and we'll be happy to make a personalized recommendation based on your existing gear. The Acro CA1000 is a bit of a strange duck and difficult to place in a single category. It's a DAP, DAC, amplifier, and streamer all wrapped up in a reasonably portable package. If you have a headphone that requires a lot of power and you want to be able to take them with you, then the Acro should be a no-brainer. With up to 15 VRMS balanced output, you'll be hard-pressed to find a headphone that won't work. Given that the Acro CA1000's features combine a full-fledged DAP music player 
and a beefy headphone amplifier, it's a steep price to pay, but considering the fact that a previous power adapt, the Con Cube, cost just $700 less when it was released, I would say the price is justified. It's more powerful, has better I.O., a longer battery, and a plethora of updated AK features, the Acro CA-1000 is the literal kitchen sink of DAPs. Use it on the go or on your desktop, it can do it all. I'd put it in like a nice case or something though if you're traveling with it. Pro tip. To learn more about the Acro CA-1000 music player from Estelle & Kern, be sure to check out their written review. There you'll find lots more info on the design, internals, sound impressions, specs, and more. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see all the latest reviews and videos. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.